All right, in my quest for the perfect, somewhat perfect, Linux replacement for Windows XP, which expires April of this year, as some of you may know, let's take a look at a possible candidate for that. It's the latest Netrunner OS featuring the KDE desktop. I've taken a look at Netrunner in the past, and it appears uh, in the past this was a polished uh, distribution. And I installed this in VirtualBox. The automatic ins installer works fine. So if you are a Windows user, something with the automatic installer like this should be fine. All right, this is default desktop here. As you can see, there are some icons, default icons on the desktop. Let's take a quick look at this and see if a Windows newbie can maybe figure this out. Let's try right clicking. You have some shortcuts here. Let's go to desktop settings. All right, this is the usual wallpaper, mouse actions, location, icon. Let's go back to view. Oh, oh, I don't know. You know what? How about this one? Enigma. Neuro trans X. Sure. Hmm. You will be assimilated. All right. This looks kind of cool. It's different. Of course, you have your web accounts. Probably, yep. Google, Facebook, own cloud, and runner's ID. Gamers, if you're into gaming, check out the Steam client. This is where you can set up an account and download trial or free versions of games for Linux. Oh, let's see, README, that's probably going to be a help file. This, yep, it's connecting to Mozilla Firefox, which is normal. Oh, Netrunner Home, Netrunner Mag. Uh, let's see here. What do we have here? Known issues. How to disable secure boot. Hey, this could be very helpful for you guys who are running Windows 8. So this is definitely appreciated from the Netrunner team. And by the way, we are looking at Netrunner 13.12, it looks like. Let's go to Jack and Joe. It's probably a game. Let's go to Netrunner Mag. What lies ahead, 2014 will be exciting. A nice, uh, lots of white space on their desktop. So if you are a uh, beginner to Linux, need some informa information, definitely check this out. Uh, bad moments, so what lies ahead, bad moments, good moments. Uh, I don't know, let's take a quick look here. I don't, don't want to dwell too much on their page, but this does to be or to be, appear to be beginner friendly. What lies ahead, Netrunner 14 point. 01 coming up, KDA Framework 5. Uh, Wayland versus Mir. Huh, okay, the year Linux may solidify its position in desktops. A lot of interesting articles. Google, uh, Wayland versus Mir. Exciting doesn't necessarily implies, imply good. It merely implies not boring, I would agree. Uh, this is the display driver. Let's see, for the benefit of the Linux community, one of them <laughs> has to die. <coughs> Excuse me, really? <laughs> One of the... Jeez. You guys in Linux are violent. I'm going back to my safe house in Windows 7. One of them has to wail in their mirror. <sighs> you, you, you know, this... Alright, this, this is not the video for my thoughts about this, but I think this is kind of silly in my opinion. But let's move on to the review of KDE version of Netrunner OS. Alright. Let's see, we have network, self-explanatory here. And let's go to my computer, another shortcut here. And this will give you information about your computer system information. Again, very easy. Of course, this is, the KDE is famous for widgets. So if you wanted to add something on the desktop, you just left click hold. It does not appear to be working. This is probably tied into Keyboard shortcuts, oh, let's see, Alt, New, Super Key, okay. Apparently holding down the Super Key works. You can, well, hold down Super Key, you can drag this. I like the transparency effect, very nice. You can make this bigger if you want. I don't know, I kind of like the default settings on the mouse and not having to hold down a key to make the mouse work, mouse gesture. Um, it's probably in the system settings. If one of you guys know knows, put a put a note in the comments. I don't like this function, but that's just me. All right, moving along quickly. Here, what's this here? 
uh, search bar it appears. Let's go to uh, music. Clementi Music Player, a very nice music player. I have this installed in my various versions of Linux, including Zorn, Ubuntu, Linux, Mint. Very nice. Of course, time and date. Uh, K Organizer, Easy Keystroke, my internet, of course. Available devices. K Mixer, Mixer. Again, self explanatory. The scissors, probably the clipboard, more than likely. Of course, the uh, music player. Let me go ahead and quit out of that. Show the desktop. I'm sorry, that's the terminal, not show the desktop. The K Terminal Emulator. All right, I like to move my uh, panel uh, to the top sometimes. So let's. What what I did was right click a panel options, panel settings. Again, KDE's KDE desktop is very customizable. And let's see. I'm gonna have, probably have to cold. Yeah, we'll do that. And there you go. Your panel is now at the top. As I stated, right clicking can give you more options. We saw Firefox, and this is the yep, the Dolphin File Manager. Again, lots of blue here to make you feel comfortable. You can change how this looks. And there are some other options here, self-explanatory. All right, this probably has the uh, the kicker or the kickoff kicker menu. Uh, oh no, this actually has something different. Looks kind of cool. This is the home run launcher. Interesting. Okay, kind of cool. I'm sure you can change this to a more standard KDE launcher if you so choose to. Why don't we just keep it the way it is? These these appear to be shortcuts here. Probably restart. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe log out. Of course, power. That is probably Volco screen that I was messing with. Yep. And let's see. This is probably driver system settings with the with the tool with the wrench. Yep. Okay, again, self-explanatory. Uh, let's see, this looks like the terminal. Yeah, this is using uh, about 670 megabytes of RAM. Not not bad for KDE. One thing about this, if you were go going to install this on an older machine that had Windows XP, it may not work uh, properly. Make sure you have at least, um, I would say, probably 2 gigabytes of RAM to make this work right. All right, moving down here, another shortcut. This is, yeah, this is the Synaptic Package Manager where you can install uninstall pieces of software. Yep, you may have seen this before. Let's quickly go through this. Okay, let's see, let's go to games. Um, yeah, standard, uh, not 3D games. These do not appear to be 3D games, uh, but you have certainly have some choices here. Graphics. GIMP image editor by default, very nice. Oh, let's see, the update manager. Back here, utilities, uh, K3B, Clipper, the usual here, Knotes. All right, Wine to, this is where you can install, maybe successfully, some of your Windows software using this. Windows documents, power session, of course, self-explanatory. Well, this certainly looks easy enough. You could definitely take a look at this as part of a consideration or part of one of several considerations, Linux considerations, to replace your Windows XP, assuming that you have at least, I would say, probably 2 gigabytes of RAM to make this run comfortably. So take a look at the latest from Netrunner, Netrunner OS, a very polished distribution. And as far as the debate between Wayland, Wayland and Mir, I say we terminate all Linux and just keep Ubuntu. How does that sound? I'm just kidding, just kidding. That's it. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.